In this video, I'm gonna show you some tips on how to hit a drop shot. A drop shot can be a very effective shot because it can bring your opponent up to the net on your terms rather than on their terms. So I set up this water bottle as my target on the other side. I'm trying to keep it on this side of the water bottle so that I force my opponent into a very difficult situation where they have to run up quickly and deal with a low ball. Now the court's really small, so I don't wanna to try to be too good or too cute on my drop shot. I wanna make my opponent play a difficult shot rather than going for the outright winner. Now when you hit a drop shot, you're gonna to wanna to put back spin or side spin on the ball. So we want our face a little bit open. Depending on the height of the ball, we might start slightly higher than it or we might start slightly lower than it. So we could hit a drop shot up or we could hit it down depending on the height of the ball. But the key are having a relaxed grip and not doing very much swing. I'll show you a few more examples and then we'll break it down. Especially if I have my opponent standing far behind the baseline, drop shot can be a really good opportunity. When you first start out with a drop shot, using a continental grip on both sides can work well, but as you get more advanced, you might start shifting your grip a little bit so you can get more spin on the ball. So on my backhand, I would move it away from a continental so that I can lead more with this edge first with my face a little bit more open. I can really cut the ball. And on my forehand, I would go past the continental a little bit so I can get that same action on the ball. So I'll show you some extreme spin drop shots now versus just a standard cut. And if I'm successful with the extreme spin, I can make the ball so it's almost ungettable. So notice now I'm doing a little more swing. I'm cutting the ball a lot more. I'm also swinging faster than I was on my basic drop shot. So here's the basic one where I'm just swinging slow and small. And here's the more advanced one where I'm actually cutting the ball quite a bit, letting my racket continue on the swing. So again, here's a basic drop shot, just a little high to low cut. Here's a more advanced drop shot. Face was more open on the more advanced drop shot. I actually turned my grip past Continental so that I have a nice relaxed wrist, open face, cutting with that front edge of the paddle first. A drop shot is actually an offensive shot. So you wanna make sure that you're not doing it when you're under pressure because you're gonna miss a lot of them. So we're gonna rally for a second here. And so I'm just kinda of waiting for a ball that I can move forward on in the initial stages. I can't move forward, I'm still playing a regular shot. But then the moment that I can move forward a little bit, I feel on balance and not in a rush, then I'm going for the drop shot. This video is sponsored by ASAP.com. I highly recommend them when it comes to food delivery. You can use the promo code USOPEN10 at checkout to get $10 off your order of $25 or more. Now back to the video. Whereas if I try too many drop shots when I'm pinned back here behind the baseline, it's gonna be a lot tougher, right? Notice I move forward there, that gives me an easier opportunity. So when I'm playing, I often wanna be patient, wait for that right opportunity. Maybe one where I can move forward into the court a little bit before I attempt the drop shot. Good. Because if I try from back here, I'm gonna miss hit a lot of them and I'll probably hit a lot of them in the net if I'm standing behind the baseline to hit the ball. So that's a tough shot, so I just play it back normal. It's also a tough shot because it's landing deep. That one's tough because she made me move into the corner. And then finally I get one that I like and I can go for the drop shot. 